What is up guys and gals? How's it going? It's your boy One Night Crow and I'm back for another video. Um, it was actually, I want to start this video, not it was actually, I want to start this video by saying happy anniversary to my baby doll, my wife, my partner, my, my, uh, partner in crime, my partner in gaming, my core partner, whatever you want to say, my nerd, my other, my other, my other herd, my other nerd, um, my best friend, happy anniversary, 11 years married. I am hopped up right now. I'm sorry guys. I have had a lot of, uh, a lot of energy today, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get this video. I'm not feeling good, but I still have the energy I want to burn, so I'm going to try to get this video out. Um, but yeah, it was our anniversary. You're watching this Thursday, or no, you're not watching this Thursday. This is filmed Thursday, March 18th, the same day that the Zack Snyder Justice League cut was released on HBO, which I can't wait to watch that. But uh, the 17th of March, the, yesterday, was me and my wife's anniversary. You guys are probably watching this the week after. On Wednesday, maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. Leave it in the comment section on what day you're watching this video. But uh, I know this is going to be later than when our anniversary took place. My wife went ahead and bought me a bunch of goodies um, for our anniversary. I went ahead and spoiled her. She spoiled me. I didn't expect a lot of the things she got me, but I am in love with them. So I want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do a couple of videos for you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm stuttering. I'm all over the place. Um, we're going to start with some DC stuff. We're going to start with some Batman stuff actually. I got a couple of Batman figurines. Uh, awesome looking collectibles. I can't wait to display them on my shelf. By the way, I got two new shelves for my collectibles as you guys can see in the background. So I can't wait to go ahead and put that out. And I got quite a few other things you can see here. This, this is gonna be for another video. So I'm just gonna slide that back a little bit there. And these are the goodies. We're gonna start with a, uh, we're not gonna start in this order, I'm just gonna show you. Azrael from the DC Multiverse. Batman Curse of the White Knights. You see right there. There we got a better shot. Nice sword. Flaming sword. And then we're going to move on to Robin from DC Rebirth. Another nice sword. And then the last one we have for you guys is going to be DC Multiverse. Batman Dark Knight's Death Metal, as you see right here. So we'll go ahead and get into it and get them out the boxes, look at them, and see how they look. All right, guys and gals, we're going to start with the DC Multiverse Robin. Um, once again, I got all these awesome things, and I could have requested another tripod, but uh, of course I didn't. So we're going to start with the DC Multiverse Robin. On the side, DC Multiverse Robin again. On the other side, same thing, DC Multiverse Robin. And then in the back, we got a nice art, nice art print there of Robin. And closely, you look closer, you can see um, Starfire, Raven, something that looks like Beast Boy. It looks like a girl, kind of. I'm not sure what it, if that's Beast Boy or not. And then you got the uh, Kid Flash. In the bottom, you got... Collect all. I guess they all come with different prints. Ooh, that Deathstroke one, though, I'm telling you. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and open it. See how it looks. Oh, it was $24.99 at GameStop. If you guys are interested in getting some yourself. And it is by McFarlane Toys. So, let's go ahead and open him up and see how he looks. Alright, guys and gals. Well, here you have the awesome Robin. DC Rebirth Robin, he got that smug look on his face, like he just doesn't give a damn. Kind of got that feeling going on today, actually. Not gonna lie. And you got his outfit there. Nice sword. A little crooked in certain spots, but uh, that can be straightened out. It's not a big deal. And his boots. Nice vibrant green and red laces. And then you got the cape that has a couple of... Uh, waves to it kind of curving it is like a uh, light rubbery material and got the layers in his hair which look pretty freaking cool to me if you ask me and 
Overall, this piece looks nice. He does have articulation. He has articulation in the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder. He has articulation in the neck. Does he have it in the waist? I don't think he has any in the waist. He does not have any in the waist. And a matter of fact, yeah, he does have the wrist. He doesn't have any at the waist. He has it at the knees, and then he has it at the ankle. So it does, uh, the ankles do pivot. And his head, as I said, has articulation as well. As you can see. But pretty cool profile of Robin. I do like this Robin, I have to say. I like the outfit. Everything looks really nice. Definitely one of the pieces that I'm going to enjoy a lot. I'm going to fix his legs up and display them on the shelf. And I'll show you how they all look next to each other when they're done being displayed. So let's go on and check out the Batman. Dark Knight's Death Metal Batman. And see how he looks. Now the only thing I'm going to show on this one is the back of it. Because it looks so freaking wicked. You got that Dark Knight's Death Metal Batman artwork on the back. And I had to show you this because the box, everything about the box is the same as the other. But that portrait is so amazing. And in the Robin box, it was a card that resembled the back of the Robin box. And there is a card that resembles the back of this box. So let's go ahead and open him up. All right, guys and gals, let's go ahead and do this one. This time I just tried to make myself have a little, or make myself, try to have a little better lighting in this one so you can see. I know I kind of messed up the Robin one. I do apologize for that. But let's go ahead and check out this one and see how this one is. This is the Death Metal Batman, and so far, he's one of my favorites. I don't know why this thing keeps freaking blurring, and it's getting me so mad. Give me one second, guys. Alright. Anyway, so, this is the Death Metal Batman. He's freaking awesome. So freaking awesome. Look at his gauntlets. All the spikes. And his jacket. Freaking scythe. His leather jacket that has all the straps. Reminds me of, like, a crow. I freaking love the crow. But he's so dark and so badass. His articulation, he has him in the elbow, in the wrist, in the shoulder. And let me see if he has any in the neck. He has some in the neck. It's very, very stiff. You can turn left and right, but not really any up and down motion. Um, he does not have it at the hips. He has at the top of the legs, knees, and on the ankles. But this Batman is freaking gorgeous. I love it. I love everything about this Batman. He's amazing. And he does come with his card. His card is pretty much the same. That resembles the back of his box, which is right here. Amazing card. I'm going to be collecting these cards. And uh, they do all come with their own base. It's a small little tiny base you see right there, DC. They all come with that so you can display them. Um, before all the collectors out there are like, Oh my god, you should have kept them in box, how dare you? I'm an out of the box collector, guys. Please be respectful for all the collectors, whether they're out of the box or in the box collecting. Collecting is collecting and we just appreciate it and take care of the things that we love. I want to display these. I want to look at them when I enter my uh, office and just admire them. And they are gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get the last one done, which is Azrael. Which I picked up personally because I thought he looked wicked and he has an amazing sword. So let's go ahead and get him out and see how he looks. And now we got Azrael. Did I say that right? Azrael. Yeah, I said that right. And he is freaking gorgeous. I got to point out this sword, guys and gals. This sword's freaking amazing. I love the way that sword looks. And I got to show you guys something about that sword here after this. After we look at him a little bit. Um, his... His material for his clothing is like a very thin, rubbery feel to it. It has a very thin, like, rubber vinyl feeling. Um, same thing with the back parts here. They're very thin, rubber vinyl type feeling to it. But pretty cool. You can see all that detail in the uh, in his outfit. His upper wear there. Went down, got the muscles. He has articulation in his toes. He has little articulation in the ankle. He has articulation in the knee. In the wrist, in the elbow, in the shoulder, he has articulation in the waist. That's right, I said in the waist, which is pretty cool to see that he has that articulation there. He doesn't have much articulation on the head. He can go up a little, down a little, and side to side, which is more than what Batman could. Freaking amazing. And then, of course, for those of you guys that wanted to see his card, this is his card that he comes with. Beautiful card. Same artwork that's in the back of the box. 
I love this figure. Again, these are $24.99 at GameStop, and I think you could also pick them up at Walmart. I'm not sure. Check it out. But I love these lines of DC figures. Let's go ahead and check out Robin's card real quick before I show you something with this sword, because the sword's freaking awesome. Let me go ahead and get Robin's card for you guys, for those of you who wanted to see the card, which is the same as the back. That was Robin's card. Now, the sword, I think, is awesome because the sword... We actually have an ability to take or the, the option to take this part off. It's like an effects for the sword. Just easily remove it just like that. And then if of course if you want it on, you just slide it through. It's like a little uh it's probably gonna be harder to slide it through since I don't oh, there we go. You just slide it right through and in place, and there you go. I think that's freaking awesome. I love the the option to have these types of uh, effects put on swords and and, and different figures and stuff that you buy that you, that you invest money in they're gonna look awesome together on the shelf and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks on the shelf right now all right guys and gals so that's how they look on my shelf of course I put them next to the red death I believe is what that Batman's called it kind of resembles a mixture of like the zoom uh, or zoom not the zoom zoom or reverse flash or flash that combination there you got robin the boy wonder with his ninja stars and his sword then you have the death metal batman with his scythe ready to just cut throat and then you have azrael with his flaming sword ready to get engage in battle so there you guys go that's how he looks on my shelf with the other amazing batman on top of him so uh yeah all right, guys and gals, well, that's all I have for today on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was something that was out of the norm. Um, action figures, I haven't really done any any figures. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. I haven't done any reviews on action figures, so this is kind of the first. And I might start doing a few more, um, especially in this DC line, if I pick up a few more of them, because I absolutely love them. You can see them back there on my shelf. Um, they're amazing. They're about six to seven inches tall as well, so that's pretty good size. Um... I do apologize since I am everywhere in this video, guys. I am super tired, haven't really got a lot of rest. I've been sick and I think this medication is just getting me hopped off. I have no idea what it is, but I do love you all and I'm trying to get my head back in the game. Um, I'm working on a project that I wanna do for mental health. So if you guys wanna be involved, please let me know. Shoot me a message through Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. It's pretty much just gonna be a research thing I'm doing for mental health awareness. And uh, I just, Trying to get a few clips from some some people who just want to give their uh, their age, their uh, their name, and what it is that they struggle with in a quick short like just a short short clip like half a minute clip minute clip. Um, so please, if you're interested, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'm trying to get back in a good headspace. I'm trying to defeat this seasonal depression so I can move forward and bring streams again. I think I'll be streaming this weekend, guys, over on twitch.tv slash one crow. If not, I will be streaming Monday for sure. 100%, guys, 100%. So, please, thank you for all of the support and all the well-received well messages about uh, about my health. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys that check up on me and see how I'm doing. It means the world to me. And you guys are the reason I do this. I love you all. Remember, don't ever let anyone make you feel like you are less because you are amazing. And no one's told you that they love you lately. They may be the first to say it right here, right now, that I love you. I love every single one of you guys. You're all amazing. Um, on to the next video or the next stream, I'll catch you on the flip side.